Hello and welcome to Pictorial Planet. My name's John Finch. Today's Friday tip is about how to get from this enlargement to this enlargement. I had this enlargement already. It's a 10 by 8 and I'd made a few test strips and found a really nice exposure of 12 seconds. But then I decided I wanted to make this enlargement, which is a 12 by 16. How can I do that without having to go through all the test strips again? Obviously, to get this enlargement, I have to raise my enlarger up and it changes everything about the light that's hitting this paper. So how do I do it? Well, there's actually a very straightforward way of doing this and it works every time. It's great. So this is how it works. First of all, you need to be using the same paper. Now, these weren't the same batch, but they were the same paper. They're multigrade RC satin coated paper. And both version 5, the new multigrade paper. So, as I say, I'd worked out the exposure for this as 12 seconds. Now, what you do is, when you're doing this exposure, measure the size on the baseboard of the negative, not the print. Because this print, this size of paper could be anything. It could be a 5 by 7 it doesn't matter. It's the size of the enlargement that you are worrying about. So measure the baseboard size of the negative as it shines. Now, in this situation, it was 26.25 centimeters. And then I wound up the enlarger and set my paper underneath a red safe filter and got it all organized and set up. And it was slightly bigger than the paper on the baseboard. And I measured that, not the paper, I measured the size of the negative now on the baseboard and it was 41 centimeters. Quite a difference between the two. Now there's a thing called the inverse square law and it's about when you take an enlarger up, the light drops more than the amount of height you've just put on it. It doesn't matter about that. There is a calculation you can do. Let's look at that calculation on the computer now. So here is the formula we're going to use to calculate our new time of the exposure of the larger print. It looks complicated. I'm going to take you through this slowly and you'll get it straight away, I think. Make a note of this in your notebook because it's such a useful formula. So first of all, we look at this bit in the middle here and we have the old length of the negative on the baseboard and the new length of the negative on the baseboard after we've raised or lowered the enlarger. So let's have a look. Let's replace these values with the ones we know. So the old length was 26.25 centimeters. I'm going to pop that right there. And the new length after racking up my enlarger was 41. I'll pop that there. So it's 41 divided by 26.25. And the answer to that calculation, I've already done that on my calculator on my phone, is 1.56. So I'm going to put the answer to that calculation there. 41 divided by 26.25. Now, there's this 2 up here, which means we square the answer of this calculation. So I've got 1.56 and I'm going to square it. And by squaring it, I make it into 2.43. I'm going to replace that by 2.43. So that's my squared result. Finally, we multiply this with the old time. And I knew that my old print was 12 seconds to get a lovely exposure. So there's my 12 seconds. And the answer, 2.43 multiplied by 12 makes 29.2. There's my new time. So now, as long as I don't change the f-stop on the lens or anything, any other variable, as I keep my enlarger at the new height, I have the time that will give me exactly the same exposure on the new paper. Now, there's a caveat to this. You should be using the same paper because different papers have different ISOs, so they'll change their reaction to the light. So use the same paper as I did. But this is a great way of finding out when you've racked your enlarger up, what should your new time be? It'll save you paper. It'll save you time. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Write this down in your notebook. It's a really valuable little algorithm to know. And I will see you next time. 
next week coming up we have two bath developers so i'm really excited to talk about them with you so please give me a like subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these tips and you don't miss any of these development goodness in my dark room i'll see you later bye for now